Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. This is a guide for you to upgrade the Tesla gun into the Reaper, that's the yellow variant, in the Final Reich. Now this is a warning. This thing is so annoying right now, or at least uh, it is at launch. It might get patched to become easier, and if that's the case, then you're probably going to be sitting here, scratching your head, wondering what the hell is wrong with me, why am I complaining? But trust me, right now this thing is such a nuisance, but there's nothing to be done other than jump into the upgrade process. To upgrade the Tesla gun. You need the Tesla gun. So, if you haven't built it already, I've got a guide for you to do exactly that in the top right-hand corner of the screen or the description of this video. Click through to that, build yourself the Tesla gun, and once that's complete, you'll be able to do your Tesla upgrade. To begin the upgrade process, we need to open a locker that is, surprise, surprise, locked in the sewers. It's actually in the Pack-a-Punch room itself, and you need to do so by using a club-armed zombie or a whistler or a big bertha or whatever the hell you call these things, George Romero, I don't know. Get one of the annoying bullet sponge zombies to come and charge you while you're in front of this locker just here. You can afford to take a hit from it. Don't take any more damage from any other zombies if you can possibly help it because then you will lose armor. But one swipe from this thing will not take any armor off you. It will just red health you and it will also slam in the exact right position you need to open the locker itself. Inside you'll find a battery and that battery can be placed in the nearby battery holder just by the trap switch in the entrance to this room. Now, this is where things get just so frustrating, okay? To charge the battery, what you need to do is bring two, that's minimum, two bomb zombies into this room and kill them using the trap while they are near the battery charger. Now, I have to stress, this will only work if you have a green light on the bottom of your battery holder and you'll probably have to do it a couple of times and because this is so frustrating and so finicky, you'll probably have to do it a bunch of times in order to actually successfully charge the batteries. It is not easy. In the current state of the game, they have to be really, really close to the battery charger in order for the light to go green and for the kills to count. I'm hoping that they'll make it a little bit more forgiving, but right now that's just not the way it is. So bring bomb zombies, which spawn randomly from around about, I'd say like round seven, eight onwards, I guess, to this room if you have any spawn in. Be very careful not to blow them up by going too close to them and then try and walk them in front of the battery holder. And as soon as they're about to go in front of the battery holder, activate the trap. The saw blades will then take a couple seconds to kill them, and assuming you've managed to successfully do this, you should get the kills near the holder, charge the battery, you can grab the battery out of the holder, and walk it to the morgue. Now then, I gotta note that before you go any further, you need to have completed the lightning rod defense process in the casual fireworks easter egg quest. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the top right hand corner of the screen there's a link to a guide that I made to get you to that point and further in fact, and it's also linked in the description down below. You can also obviously follow the in-game hints to get there, but I recommend the guide, I made the guide, I think it's pretty good, hopefully you think it's good as well. So follow that guide, finish the lightning rod defense part of it, and then you can come right back to this and you'll be able to place the battery that you have just charged in its new holder in the morgue itself, otherwise it won't be open. It's on the right hand side of the device that you've previously acquired a Tesla gun apart from, so chuck the battery in there and then as soon as you are ready to start a lockdown process, hold square on it again, a health bar will appear and you'll need to defend it for maybe two minutes, something like that. To do this, I really recommend you pack a punch. There's a guide for that on my channel, top right hand corner of the screen, description as well, they're linked right there. I also recommend jacking the boxes, I recommend using other Tesla guns if you've got them, and using your special abilities, and using your grenades, and just anything that you can really use to survive here is probably a good shout. It's worth noting that in the morgue, it's much harder to defend compared to when you're in the laboratory area, so if you've done one in the labs first, that will make your life a lot easier because then you'll have an upgraded Tesla and you'll be able to use it for this, which is a little bit more confined, and I mean, if you get like a flamethrower zombie down here, for example, it can get really difficult. So so just be careful and I'm sure you'll be fine. Once you complete it, the health bar will disappear, assuming it didn't die, in which case I guess the health bar will also disappear and you'll have to try this again, but uh, once you're done, health bar will go and after about 30 seconds, a new Tesla part will pop out of the machine that previously gave you a Tesla part as well for your original Tesla gun, and so you can bring it up the stairs, into the command room, up the stairs again, to the Tesla build station, voila, you can now craft the Reaper.
hopefully this no-nonsense guide has been useful for you guys. If it has been, then please drop a like on the video. That would be much appreciated. And feel free to check out my other upgrade guides on my channel. Once again, linked on the screen or in the description down below. The gun itself is pretty cool, this one, actually. I really like the fact that it's got quite a large radius, and it just instantly zaps all the zombies that are around. And it just looks quite nice as well. There's quite a nice contrast between the yellow of the electricity and the rest of the map, because there's a lot of sort of red and gray on the map already, and so I feel like the yellow really stands out. And it's pretty strong too, which is an added bonus, and you get multiple shots in your clips, so fun for all the family. Anyway, I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. Drop a like, like I've said, if you've enjoyed, and subscribe maybe too, and I'll hopefully see you very soon in another World War II Zombies video.